and in this recipe we are going to be unclogging our arteries so today's recipe i have two ways you can do this two different kinds of mixture concussion whatever you call it that will help to unclog your arteries this works so fast and very very effective and this uh, concussion or this this remedy you have to you have to do it first thing in the morning before your breakfast so to jump into this i have I've gotten this question several times what do i mean by unclogging arteries what is arteries what are the arteries arteries are the blood vessel that transport oxygenated blood from the heart to the rest of our body. Our organs and body tissues rely on this oxygen in order to function properly, which means that our arteries and blood vessels play an extremely important role in our body. But you know, unfortunately, because of the kind of food, diet, lifestyle we are doing these days, our arteries tend to clog often so this recipe will help to unclog the arteries you're going to be taking this recipe first thing in the morning before you eat your breakfast even after taking it you don't have to drink anything no water nothing for about 20 to 30 minutes before you can eat any other thing welcome everyone that join us so here i have two shots different kinds of shots anyone you have we do as long as it's something like this i'm using this so as to tell you the mixture we're missing mixing is not going to be liquid it's not going to be juice it's not going to be smoothie it is an elixir that will help to unclog our arteries so i'm using this and the next one i'm going to be doing i'm going to be using this like i said i have two ways you can unclog your arteries in today's so make sure to watch to the end so that you can grab these two ways and you decide the one that will work better for you so the first thing we are going to be the first one we are going to be doing i will be needing this this is an olive oil extra virgin olive oil that is what we need you don't have to use any other oil because it has to be cold pressed olive oil with this you have all the natural minerals and vitamins in this oil it has to be cold pressed like i said and for this i'm going to be using i'm going to be using one tablespoon of this olive oil olive oil is a healthy fat omega-3 fatty acid that will help to unclog the arteries that is what we are using so i'm going to be using this shot but if you have this you can also use so i'm going to be measuring one tablespoon of cold pressed olive oil this is my one tablespoon i'm adding it to the shot olive oil is one of the healthiest oil that you can use it's one of the healthiest oil and that is why we are using it in this because your body needs the healthiest of the healthiest oil so after the olive oil i'm going to be adding i'm going to be adding this is turmeric this is turmeric powder and for the turmeric powder I'm not in, I'm not going to be needing much just like quarter of a teaspoon quarter of a teaspoon is what we need here so here I have quarter of a teaspoon turmeric is one of the herbs that are very good in melting fat no when your arteries are clogged is from all those high cholesterol food that you have eaten that I, I we have eaten that is 
or you know unclog it unclogging the artery so we have to unclog those arteries so i'm going to be adding quarter of turmeric quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric powder and because we have added this turmeric the next thing we're going to be adding is cayenne pepper cayenne pepper works so well with olive oil with turmeric to do this job so i'm going to be adding one eighth of a teaspoon that is just it is just like a pinch a pinch of cayenne pepper is what we need here a pinch of this cayenne pepper is what we need if you don't have the measuring spoon then you can just use a pinch use your hand and just take a pinch of cayenne pepper and you add to this then after adding this i hope you're getting you're recording the things that we added because all these things are so good for unclogging arteries and after that the next thing i'm adding here is lemon lemon is a detergent it cleanses it cleanses so i'm adding one tablespoon of lemon juice lemon juice is a cleanser it helps to clean and melt those causing the clogging of the arteries so after adding this this is the first thing the first way you can unclog your arteries and the last thing we are going to be adding into this one is honey. Let me get some more spoon. Here I have um, a teaspoon. And I'm going to be adding a teaspoon of this. One moment. Here is one teaspoon of honey. I'm adding it to this. This is a very good mixture to unclog arteries. So what you have to do is to mix and combine everything together. You can do this in a small bowl If you don't have a shot, oh, I've, I've made a mess here. If you don't have a shot, you can use a bowl to mix all this thing. But we are using a shot so that it will be easy for you to drink it and pass it through your no, through, through your throat as fast as you can. make sure to combine everything together because this is a wonderful mixture that will help you so well thank you so much for joining us today please if you have not yet subscribed you are new to this channel and you like what you're seeing on this channel please don't forget to subscribe Turn on your post notifications so that you'll be notified whenever I come live or whenever I upload new videos. So I'm trying to mix everything together. I think it's well mixed. So our mixture is well combined so this is the elixir that will help to unclog your arteries so what you have to do is to drink this first thing in the morning
before you even drink water. Drink this. Then wait for about 20 minutes to 30 minutes before you can drink water. But if you are someone that likes drinking water, immediately when you wake up, then you can drink your water. Wait for 20 minutes to 30 minutes, then you can mix this together and drink. Then you have to wait for another 20 minutes or 30 minutes before you can eat your breakfast. This is a wonderful Alexa that will help to melt and unclog those arteries. So this is our first remedy. And the next remedy we have here is also very, 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 very effective. I will be using a bowl and the first ingredient we'll be needing for this one is garlic. I know many of us, we don't like garlic. We don't like the smell of garlic. We don't like the smell of it after eating it. Oh, but with this, if you mix garlic with the things I'm going to be mixing here, you can be able to eat it comfortably and you can eat it, swallow it, feel better and your it's not going to smell in your mouth. So what we will be needing here is just one glove of garlic. This is an everyday remedy. If you didn't want to make it very for you, try it every day, at least for two weeks, at least for two weeks, then you're going to find and get a very effective result. So you peel the garlic, So what you have to do with the garlic is to chop it. If you want to uh, mash it, you mash, but I would advise you blend it. Cutting it will be better for you. So I'm going to be cutting the garlic into smaller, smaller chunks, very tiny. Very, very tiny. If you are watching and you have not given the video thumbs up, please help me click on the thumbs up button and give this video a thumbs up because this remedy is very, very effective. Other people have to, other people have to see it, and by you giving this video thumbs up will help other people to come across this video. And for this remedy, this particular one, if you prepare it, I will I'll advise you leave it to sit for at least 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes before you consume it. So that the elixir that is in this, which is the most important compound in, chin, in garlic, sorry, will be able to melt and be able to infuse into the other things we are going to be mixing the garlic with. So I think I have chopped it enough. Chopping it like this means that it will not take long for you to eat it and swallow it, pass it through your throat. Because I know some people do not or have not even tried eating garlic for the first time, as in raw garlic. If you want to achieve the best of garlic, I will tell you raw if you can eat it raw. So here I have one garlic well chopped and added to the bowl. Here is our one garlic. So the next thing we are going to be adding here is lemon this lemon will help to reduce 
the smell in your mouth. Eating lemon with garlic is the best way, it's one of the best ways of reducing the smell in your mouth and it's going to help to boost the health of this mixture. So I'm going to be adding one teaspoon, sorry, one tablespoon of lemon juice. Here we have one tablespoon of lemon juice. Then after that, we have another thing we are adding, which will help you to eat this thing. It doesn't taste good if you eat it like this, to be honest with you. But when you add honey to it, you can be able to eat it and eat it comfortably. You are going to be eating it more comfortably than when you eat it only garlic and lemon. So we are adding lemon. For the lemon, you can go for half of a lemon, half a half teaspoon of lemon or one teaspoon of lemon. It depends on how you can handle it. But I mean, honey, sorry about that. You can go for one teaspoon of honey or one tablespoon of honey. <clears throat> Depends on how you can handle it. If you can handle it with uh, one teaspoon, that's okay. If you can't, one tablespoon is still okay. But what you have to bear in mind is that you have to chew it and swallow it. So I'm going to be adding one teaspoon of honey. With that I'm going to be mixing mix everything to combine so well especially the honey so after mixing mixing like I said you allow this you can allow the, the garlic to stay 10 minutes before you start adding other things or you can add these things and then allow it to sit for 10 minutes then you consume this but the garlic has to stay for at least 10 minutes for the most effective effect to take place so this is this is it. I don't know if you can see it. So what you have to do after mixing it, like I said, leave it before you add these things or after you must have added. Then you eat it like the other one. Like this one. You eat it and wait. It's still the same thing with this. Eat it and wait before you will drink something, before you can drink even water. Leaving it before, I have been mean, staying without drinking water is to help the thing to go through your body. You're going to feel the sensation, especially with the garlic. You're going to feel the sensation through your mouth, through your stomach. You're going to feel it. And that is when it is working. So enjoy it, but you're eating good food. You're giving your body your cleansing. You're unclogging the arteries. So that is what you have to do. This is about one tablespoon. If you put everything here, I measure it to be one tablespoon. It doesn't pass more than one tablespoon. So you have to eat everything and stay for 20 minutes to 30 minutes, then you can drink water or you can eat any other thing. So this is two ways to unclog your arteries. I have done other videos on this channel on how you can unclog your arteries, but this is also 
one of the ways. This is also two of the ways you can unclog your arteries. Choose the one that you think is okay for you, that you can handle, that you can do comfortably and do it more often because the more you do it, the more effective you're going to, the more effectiveness of this you're going to get, more good results you're going to get. Just, don't do it just once and you leave it and say you didn't notice anything. You have to try it and you have to try and do it more often. So guys, that's what I have come to share with you today. If you find this video helpful or you have tried it in the past and you got a good result, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share with us on the comment section thank you for everyone that have joined us this night i appreciate each and every one of you and this, and as you have come to support me god will always support you in all your endeavors thank you so much and i will see you tomorrow for another video bye bye for now